Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel if you're a first time watcher. Glad to have you here. If you're a returning favorite, welcome back. Man, this the time is here. This is a video that I've been looking forward to all year to be able to make. Um, and I know a lot of you folks, this is your favorite launch of the year. Um, favorite season for candles or favorite season in general. And of course, I'm talking about the 2021 Kringle Candle Halloween Collection. Now, this is the third year that Kringle Candle has been doing this. Um, it was earlier in 2012 time frame, 2013-14. Um, there were only four fragrances back then. Then they came out 2019. They had a whole bunch of Kringle Candle jars and then Country Candle jars. Then last year they switched it up even more. We had Kringle Candle jars, we had Country Candle jars with the black bands, and then we had some Three Wicks. And now this year, uh, Kringle is just doing um, two wick large Kringle jars, and uh, there's 16 of them. And there's 10 returning favorites, returning scents, whatever you wanna call it and six brand new. Now of those 10, two have been reformulated, same name, same label and everything, but two have been reformulated and I'll get into that. I have all these notes and everything here because I don't want to miss a beat. This is gonna be a long video, probably I've got my iced tea. So just buckle up, here we go. So Kringle Candle was so kind to send me the six new ones, a reformulated one and one other one. Um, to be able to share with you guys. So I am, I am super appreciative of Kringle for um, trusting me uh, to uh, show off these candles, these, the big reveal right before the pre-order. So um, let's get into some uh, logistics first here. So I don't, I don't wanna miss anything so you guys know right off the top, right off the bat here. So they are launching August 1st, so that's this Sunday, 12.01 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I know it's a little late, West Coast, you folks, nine o'clock at night, no big deal, right? Um, so 12.01 Eastern Standard Time on KringleCandle.com. You can use my code PCM15, I'll put that in the description below, for 15% off. So um, they are gonna be the $27.95 as of right now, and then you can use the 15% off. I don't know, price could fluctuate between now and then. This is Wednesday I'm recording this. Um, so the pre-order is August 1st, Shipping, they are hoping to ship the first week in September. They want to try to avoid the heat, okay? Which makes sense. These are the new 100% soy wax. Uh, the still the, I'll show you, the still the gray wax. 100% um, soy wax there. And they are limited amount produced of each fragrance. Okay, I don't know the exact number, but it is not a unlimited pre-sale, you know, where you could wait two or three weeks from now and probably get it. It's a limited um, limited run of each fragrance, okay? Um, so that is what I wanted to get out of the way first with the logistics of the pricing, when they're shipping, when the pre-order, and the soy wax there, so. And they are all the black jars, painted uh, black jars. You know, like this is Wolfsbane from last year, okay, the black, same exact same thing there so let's go over what is a returning now i have all of the returning scents except for black cat i do not have but i have the notes so we'll talk about that and i don't have the new formulation of graveyard night so it's alive and graveyard night reformulated so let's i'll show you what's returning we'll, we'll talk about each one here haunted house day of the dead Wolfsbane, that's an original. So it's alive, same label and everything. Candy corn. Graveyard Night, this is last year's formulation. I don't have the new formulation, but I have them set notes, so we'll talk about that and how I think they compare. And then Fright Night, this is my original jar. Fright Night from 2012 on this guy. This is how they used to come. This was the largest size they ever used to offer. Um, was this so they made them in this jar small five five ounces eight ounces as well and then daylights so 
That is the 10. I don't think I'm missing anything. That's the 10 that they're returning. Oh, wait, where's Poison Apple? Did I talk about Poison Apple? Po oh, and Poison Apple right there. All right, so that's the returning ones. Here's the new ones in no particular order. Oh, I didn't talk about which is called. Oh, my God. See? Which is called the best scent ever. Um, my, my eyes. All right, ready for the reveal? Ready for one? Scarecrow. Look at that label, guys. That label. That label. Hence the Scarecrow album back there. I've been listening to it nonstop this week since I found out about this candle. Oh, I'm gonna save that for last. Blood Moon. Look at that. Look at the metallic reflection on that. Blood Moon. Oh, Lady in White. Spectre. Nightmare. Okay. And then this, this label ties for me with the Scarecrow label as best new label this year. Um, Sleepy Hollow. Let's just look at that. Now, interesting note. So Sleepy Hollow was released in 2019 as a Country Candle Jar, it was purple wax, um, different label, of course, and it was like a sweeter honey scent. So this is indeed a reformulation, if you want to call it a reformulation, um, since technically Sleepy Hollow did exist before. So that's that. So those are the six new ones. Let's get into it. Let's talk about these. So I don't have Black Cat, like I said, Black Cat, the label, um, it's just a black label with cat eyes, like the cat's poster from the original Broadway production almost um this one says good things happen when this cat crosses your path complex blend of wood citrus and musk create a bright freshness so the top note is spicy cinnamon the mid is clove and the base is cedar and frankincense so I have actually never smelled this candle it did come out the first year 2019 that's I'm gonna call it the first year in modern times 2019 is the first year um came out and it was in a bright neon green country candle wax as well as the two wicks tum two wick tumbler by the time i got to the flagship store in 2019 they did not have any um all i got that day was sleepy hollow so i have no clue what it smells like um but it just is probably just a very spicy cinnamon clove and frankincense so it's probably red hot cinnamon is what i'm thinking here maybe some earthiness with the frankincense and the clove added in um, your guess is as good as mine on that one. Uh, or see, they don't give me much to go on, just four notes. So, um, all right, next here, let's talk about candy corn. Now, I've talked about this before. I love this fragrance. It's a very sweet candy corn honey fragrance. Um, the honey in there, but it is true candy corn. Now, um, as far as candy corns that are on the market today, um, there, there aren't many of them. This is certainly right you know, in the top, all right? Um, I'm not sure there's really a top one, but uh, if you like candy corn fragrances, this is it. Um, this one does read here. Uh, who can ever pass by that? And I will put these descriptions in the, in the uh, description below if it allows me to with all the text and stuff, so. Uh, who can ever pass by the dish of tri-colored Halloween candy? I love candy corn, by the way. Uh, my wife hates it. <laughs> nobody here, nobody. <laughs> Here's our take on the classic creamy vanilla honey and light spice that bedevils every autumnal sweet tooth. So it's a top note of creamy vanilla made of sweet honey and base is light sweet. So that is candy corn here. I don't want to spend too much time on all these returning uh, favorites, returning scents, but a lot of folks already know what they are. But if you don't know what they are, we're going to do you some justice here. So... Day of the Dead is next. Love this label. It's a very um, floral, earthy vibe going on in here. Um, kind of like, almost like decaying flowers. Really nice, nice fragrance there. Um, if you like that, uh, a magical elixir of sparkling citrus mingles with spiced florals and rich oriental chords, right? So citrus, florals, Oriental wood and jasmine. So it's like I said, it's very floral, floral fragrance here. Um, 
but the wood and whatnot tones it down so it's not like the jasmine is not like bright white jasmine that you would want in like a spring or summer candle um it's it's toned down a lot so ooh, that's that this next one here uh fright night I'll put my original one here that's all i have so same label uh just long elongated there this is a citrus fruity fragrance um if you like fruity fragrances uh you will like this with a hint of citrus in here so that is Fright Night. And what does it say about Fright Night here? Uh, fiendishly delightful citrus notes swirl in the rare wood of course to create and then a uh, fragrance that will drive you baggy with pleasure. And the notes do read, top note of fruit made of patchouli, base of citrus. That's basically it. So next up here is Graveyard Night. So this is the Graveyard Night from last year. Now the Graveyard Night from last year, is a nice like, apple pumpkin spice fragrance with like clove and cinnamon in here um i actually really liked it when i got it last year i thought based on the label of graveyard night originally that it was going to be like you know a, in a graveyard kind of like earthy dirt fragrance but it's not so the new one here um We've conjured a mixture of savory and sizzling aromas of pumpkin and cinnamon, clove, and nutmeg. It's a flaming um, favorite there. So top note, pumpkin, apple, and clove. Mid is vanilla, pumpkin, orange. Base is spice and vanilla cream. So the orange note, I believe, is added. The vanilla pumpkin, vanilla cream is, is all added there. So I think this is going to be a brighter fragrance, especially with that orange in there. Uh, in the vanilla cream. I think it's going to be um, smoother. I mean, this is pretty smooth in and of itself. But it uh, probably going to be a little smoother, especially with that vanilla cream and that vanilla pumpkin. Uh, it could be like a white pumpkin type scent. Um, nothing too bad. Um, so yeah, interesting that they reformulated that one. Um, so next up here we have is Haunted House. This is one of my favorites. Um, I somehow have three of these I've purchased. I don't recall purchasing three of them, but. So Haunted House, I know some folks say this is like a repackage of um, the first Frost candle from Kringle, which I believe was discontinued. Um, I would disagree with that. I've disagreed with it for the past two years. Um, I still disagree. Um, it might share a little bit of similarities with like the balsam fur and whatnot here, but the way this is packaged together, it actually feels like you're in a haunted house with like that creepy, um, damp wetness fog, um, of the haunted house. So I think, I don't think of this as a Christmas fragrance or a winter fragrance at all. So, um, that is haunted house. The label is just absolutely stunning on this one as well. Haunted house. Fragrance will haunt you with warm clove, fresh pine, touches of spice, and floral spookily brought together. Um, so the top note is smoky firewood, cedar, and then it has black pepper, sweet spice, and palmander in it. So, take a sip there. So that is Haunted House. Uh, I really, like I said, I have three of them. I don't know how. Um, but let's now go into It's Alive. So, nope, that's what it's called. It's Alive. This is last year's. This is this year's. Same label, everything else. Um, this one. All right, this is lime. <laughs> lime and pine and uh, balsam fir right on top there. This is a very, this is a very bright fragrance. Um, this one here. And I like it. I'm kind of glad they actually reformulated it because that one to me doesn't scream Halloween, the old one there. I liked it, but it didn't scream Halloween. So the new one here, it's alive. It's on this sheet. Um, oh, let me talk about it first. Let's <laughs> see so we have the, the soy wax there. <clears throat> yeah, so this is a little smoky incense, earthy patchouli going on here. Um, just a lot of a darker fragrance. So if you take the old It's Alive and do a complete 180 on it, I think that's what you've got here. Um, it does make a little bit more sense as a Halloween candle. So, It's Alive says, 
Uh, it's alive. Earthy undertones and fresh herbs amidst the smoke and amber. Top note of green is herbal, made of uh, forger and smoke, and the bottom of wood and amber. So, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. A few more fragrances here. Poison apple. Okay, here's poison apple. This is actually a new poison apple. I didn't have that before. They were kind enough to send me poison apple as well. Um, so it's an apple fragrance, but it's not um, like fresh, juicy apple. When I first smelled this, I, I thought this uh, more like when you cut up apple slices, you cut apples into slices, throw them in a Ziploc bag, put them in a cooler and forget about them for a few hours. <laughs> when you open that, that's kind of what this smells like. Um, <laughs> it's, it's really nice. It's interesting. It's certainly Halloween. It's not like a regular caramel apple or an apple orchard type fragrance. Um, even though there's a little wood note in here. So yeah, it's not a fresh, juicy apple. That's what you're looking for. It's a nice take on apple, poison apple, especially on like, apple slices, really. Um, so it says here, one whiff of this enticing scent will transport you to a dreamlike state. Top notes of apple, apple and bergamot. Mid is apple blossom, usually jasmine. I don't get much floral out of this, um, at least on cold. Base is amber, vanilla, and oud wood. Okay, now the last two. Wolfsbane and Witch's Cauldron. I'll go with Wolfsbane first because Witch's Cauldron is amazing. Um, it should be in everybody's candle repertoire. Um, rotation, whatever. Um, Wolfsbane. Yeah, one of the originals. So, Fright Night, Wolfsbane, Witch's Cauldron, and Candy Corn, which used to be called Kringle Corn. The Kringle Corn and Candy Corn are different formulations. Um, <clears throat> but... <sighs> This is, uh, it was uh, Doug over at Spooky Villages. Um, when he reviewed this a few years ago, he's, he equated it correctly. And this is like, I, I think, and to quote him, um, devil's baby powder, right? This is a um, high intense, powdery, musky fragrance. Um, and, and devil's baby powder, man, is right on the nose, right on the nose for this fragrance, so. Wow, we are almost at 20 minutes and I've only gotten this far. You know, I think I will put a thing in here to talk about uh, a chapter, maybe. Um, Wolf Spain, white folklore. While folklore suggests this unassuming yellow woodland flower might repel werewolves, werewolves where shorts delightful floral fragrance will have you happily howling at the moon. Floral, amber, and baby powder. Those are your three notes top, mid, and base. Which is cauldron. Which is cauldron quintessential halloween candle it's not for everybody it is a heavy smoky hickory smoked um incense uh firewood um you're out in salem salem witch trials it is just um frightful <laughs> it is it is amazing now there is a cousin to this candle in a new collection here um if you can't handle this you can probably handle that because this candle like says not for everybody but look at that label, guys. Original label on this one here, too. Primary notes of clove and cedar dance mysteriously with hints of incense, citrus, and other exotics to create the utterly bewitching fragrance. Top is cedar and clove. Mid and base are incense and incense, respectfully. Respectfully, whatever. All right, we are now done with the returning scents at 19 minute mark. We are now getting into the new ones, so. This is where we're gonna go. Oh my God, this video's long. Um, well, we're gonna get through it. And I hope you have a cup of coffee or beverage you've been following along with. All right, Scarecrow. So it's hard to see on camera, but if you hit the light just right, you can actually see some details in the Scarecrow itself. Um, <clears throat> you can see some of the face there. But this label is just absolutely, absolutely gorgeous there. Um, and fragrance-wise, so this is a, I'm going to go with a manly. It's a tobacco scent, leather. Um, like smoky tobacco. Um, I'm trying to think of the tobacco flower. Now, the tobacco flower is a lot more heavier of a fragrance. The Kringle tobacco flower is a lot heavier. Um... Yeah, but there's also a sweet note in here that tones the tobacco down. 
a lot. Um, so it's not gonna smell like you're in like a cigar bar or anything. So don't, don't worry about that. All right. So this one is welcome the scarecrow into your house with open arms is a no brainer top of tobacco oriental mid notes of bergamot and herbal bottom of leather and amber so put that right there for now next up we have here is nightmare so this one is a very um interesting herbal fragrance floral fragrance in here and there's the label, by the way. Grab that. Greens, Lily, Lily of the Valley green. Definitely a white floral note going on in here. A little fruity, a little fruity. But um, at the end of the day, Halloween, earthy. It works, it works. It says here, uh, a nightmarish combination of herbals and florals, or is it just a dream you decide? So top of cardamom, green palm, mid is lily of the valley, orris of violet, bottom is musk, cedarwood, uh, ambergris, and sandalwood. So ambergris is um, from the digestive system of a sperm whale. And when you let that sit for a while, um, as it ages, it, um, turns into like an earthy note so when you get it right out of the whale it is like rotten but uh, it turns into an earthy note um, as it ages so uh that is interesting here so next up we have here is specter the ghost all right so this is uh this is your fruitiest fragrance of them all it is a tart fruitiness um with a little bit of something floral on there, but it's mostly uh, a fruity vibe. So if you were to take like Fright Night, that's fruity citrus. Kind of like a fruity floral type deal on here. Sweet. It's sweet. Did I say tart before? Sweet, tart, but mostly sweet, actually. Which is interesting because of the notes that are in here. Um, so this one says, someone there, uh, a waft of this mostly ghostly scent captivates. So top of bergamot, red currant, and fig leaves, right? Uh, mid is water lily, gardenia, pomegranate seeds. The bottom is musk, warm amber, and galbanum, which is like a, it's a plant, um, but it has like a green note in the fragrance there. So, so yeah, this is... Yeah, it's it's a fruity, floral, earthy fragrance in there. So that's Spectre. Lady in White is next. Now this is also another awesome label. It's a green and gray is going on here. So yes, all right. Green grass, right at the top, right off the top. Green grass. Um, green grass. Some other florals in here. Lily of the Valley. Um, Gardenia patchouli grounds it there, but you can't get past that green grass fragrance. It's really, really nice. Um, which is perfect. Lady in white, she's out in the woods, she's got those red eyes looking at you there. Now, do we think this is a bride? Um, could it be a bride, you know? Um, could it be a, a queen, a princess, a royal? Yeah. I, I love this. Green grass, fresh cut grass, florals, and so this one, um, all dressed in white, a flicker of light deep in the night, the lady in white. A pungent, yes it is pungent, but blend, but lovely blend of forest greens, woody herbs, and patchouli. Top note of forest greens, yeah, earth, mid of herbal ozone, bottom is patchouli and wood. Yes, yes, yes. All right, let's go over to Blood Moon. Now, is this a dupe for Bad Moon Rising that was only released one year? Um, 
I don't know. So I have seen some set notes for it. I've seen um, descriptions for it, but I've never smelled it. And I know um, I have different scent memories from different people. But what I can tell you is that it's a gorgeous label. And so it's a blood orange fragrance. It's like heavy fruit citrus on here, but it has the same incense note that is in Witch's Cauldron. So it's really nice. It's really spooky um, without being over the top Witch's Cauldron. Um, so that, this isn't the cousin I'm thinking of. That's a different candle. But if you like your florals, um, your orange, your cassis, and incense together, oh, it's a perfect combination. Um, perfect, perfect combination on this. And just look at that label, look at the glare, the, the metallic there. I mean, look at this with, where is it here? And look at these two together. I mean, come on, they are different labels. But let's look at those two together. Purple and orange, man? Come on. Come on. The official notes of this one read, a combination of super fruit with a shadow of earthy notes. Our blood moon fragrance is total, total lunar magic. Um, so the top is, um, let's see, uh, vibrant cassis, tamarind pulp cedar, um, bergamot extract, okay. Uh, the, the middle note is pomegranate seeds, uh, blood orange, cassis, and clove. And the bottom note is incense, uh, cyberry, orange blossom, and wild ivy. So that is five of the six I saved what I wanted to for last. And that is Sleepy Hollow. <laughs> Label alone is totally worth it. Now, this. This is the cousin... Two witches cauldron they are close look at those if witches cauldron is the smoky og this is the new modern era version of that so it is a toned down witches cauldron but you do get the incense and smoky notes and hickory notes that kringle uses is stunning um this is earthy smoky creepy it is it is a sleepy hollow it feels like you are in the woods um on halloween night all hallows eve it actually feels like you're there um and i know man uh, i cannot wait to burn this i cannot wait to burn this just look at that it's just ugh. I have to say, I don't know if I said it before, but the paint jobs this year are absolutely spe spectacular. Um, so, I mean, uh, props to the paint, paint jobs I know last year. Um, where's this? This one? No. Yeah, I see a little, like, it's hard to see down there. None of those have that this year, so props to Kringle for getting the good, good paint. I believe they are hand-painted, by the way, too. Um, so thumbs up there this one says sleepy hollow don't lose your head over halloween betwixt in the twilight of pumpkin and spices musk and smoke pumpkin spices uh pumpkin spices anise star clove cinnamon camelberry bayberry and a sweet smoke so let's take a look at that even more there is a little bit of that pumpkin but man you cannot get past that sweet smoke in here the incense um bayberry great i'm i am happy they included the bayberry uh, note in here you know my obsession with bayberry Really, really good. And you do get a little bit of that anise in there. You know, a little bit like that black licorice anise kind of feel. It's there, but you get past that smoke smell and everything first. Um, and it was a 30 minutes, 30 minute video here, but we had to take a deep dive into all of these fragrances. So that is all six. Yes, that's all six of those. The new ones here, 10 of the old ones, 16 candles. I like the film, 16 candles. Um, so, again, pre-order, 
midnight, 12.01, August 1st, Eastern Standard Time. PCM 15 is your code for 15% off your total purchase. Shipping sometime first week or so in September. Um, avoid the heat. Uh, and then anything else we want to talk about here? Um, you know, if you want me to go deeper into a fragrance, feel free to reach out. So put it in the comments below and uh, check my Instagram. I will probably be going more in depth for them over the next few days. I wanted to get this out to you guys so that you could at least start to kind of plot and plan what you want to purchase because um, they may go fast. I'm not saying that they will. They may. Uh, I'm just telling you what I know about the production. So I don't want to build like any like fake hype here. That's not what I'm trying to say. Um, just limited amount per fragrance, uh, midnight, August 1st. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions at all, feel free to put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer. And again, I'll probably go one by one on the new fragrances, um, on, on Instagram. And, uh, then we'll, we'll go from there. But yeah, I want, I'll go one by one on the new fragrances, um, probably, hopefully. Um, well, time permitting. So thank you all so much for watching again. Thank you to Kringle for uh, allowing me to do this video and providing me with the six new ones and, and two uh, other ones here. Um, everything else I did purchase myself last year. Um, so yeah, so thanks again, Kringle, for trusting me with this. Um, and yeah, so let me know if you have any questions. So thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.